June 12, 2009, somewhere in China, Unique International, a company previously known mainly for small electric remote-controlled helicopters, flew its two-seat full-scale electric aircraft for the first time. According to the company, the day saw a total of four flights that tested basic control response and the aircraft's power system, all of which were successful. Unique intends to ultimately create from this an experimental aircraft approved by the FAA for flight in the United States in the experimental category. Despite the off-putting name, experimental aircraft are very popular in the United States and have long driven progress in the certified market. This very sleek Cessna Corvallis 400 began life as an experimental kit built or experimental aircraft design and in this carnation is now factory produced and fully certified by the FAA. For electric flight, the entrepreneurs are pushing the regulators and the FAA has work to do to catch up. A lot of individual entrepreneurs worldwide have their sights set on electric flight, but with very few exceptions, most have not found the financial backing to push the concept to reality. The largest obstacles facing electric aircraft development at this time are the storage of fuel, or in this case, electricity. Batteries are heavy and not yet optimized to deliver the kind of power an aircraft requires. Still, notable success stories exist. In the U.S., individual entrepreneur Randall Fishman created a single-seat all-electric aircraft, the Electroflyer C, which flew publicly in 2008 at the Experimental Aircraft Association's annual Air Venture Gathering held at Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Like Unique, Fishman is also currently working on a two-seater. It will be powered by a 50-horsepower electric motor of his own design. Fishman, like Unique, also hopes to be ready for 2009's Air Venture Oshkosh Air Show. As always, the key to the market will arrive via demonstrated performance. Fishman and Unique may be two of the major pioneers breaking ground in that area. Unique aircraft is said to weigh in at close to 1,000 pounds, carrying at least 158 pounds worth of batteries. In that configuration, the company hopes to prove it can fly one and a half to two hours, a goal that Fishman believes is achievable. With 40% more batteries, the company hopes to extend flying time to about two and a half hours. The next question is, at what speed? The test aircraft took off at 40 miles per hour and flew at 56 miles per hour, powered by its 66-volt, 30-amp-hour capacity lithium polymer batteries. The practicality of using an electric motor in flight posed some unique concerns. First of all, water is the enemy of most electric motors. If the motor is air-cooled, it must be protected from or avoid atmospheric moisture. On the upside, reciprocating engines need oxygen for power, and oxygen becomes more scarce at higher altitudes where aircraft can become more efficient as that very same thinner air produces less aerodynamic drag. Electric motors are well positioned to take advantage of this. Of course, practical questions remain. At this time, the charge time of three hours at 200 to 240 volts may be a deterrent. But $5 per full charge is an impressive alternative to $5 per gallon. These challenges won't make an end for electric aircraft development. What you're witnessing is the beginning.